All right, Coach, so they make the changes now this season. It's your first year um, as head coach, but obviously you've had plenty of experience with this team. Um, what's been the biggest difference overall so far that you've had to make in terms of preparation, knowing that practice time is now limited to three hours each day? Um, you know, I would say the biggest thing is making sure that we're moving between drills and that we're keeping kids focused. You know, three hours is a long time. Fortunately, we have some upperclassmen, I think, have handled it very, very well. But I have noticed, you know, with the freshman, sophomore, that three hours is tough. So, you know, you got to kind of start with what you, what you think is most important and space it out and make sure you keep kids, you know, their attention. Talk about uh, the, the balance that you've had to, to uh, deal with trying to squeeze in uh, what you used to have more time for in terms of uh, on the field stuff and kind of uh, uh, X's and O's and things like that. Uh, you, you know, the balance, the balance has been okay for us. We uh, have really ramped up our strength and conditioning in the offseason the last three years, and you know, I think it's shown on the field a little bit, but the kids coming in better shape. Uh, you know, with the amount of open fields, and, and we went to a team camp, you know, we had a lot more of that stuff in that we wouldn't have had in, you know, five years ago. So we haven't needed quite as much time to get the X's and O's in because we had a lot in coming into the season. Okay. Um, when that decision first came out, what was, what was your initial reaction? You know, I, I thought it was a little bit unnecessary. Um, you know, it's, it's not, I guess, you know, I think most coaches are pretty smart about handling the heat, handling players' bodies. Uh, I kind of thought that was a little, you know, tradition of every football player talks about back when they did two-a-days. Um, but it just kind of, kind of surprised me a little bit, to be honest with you. How about um, um, how you used to handle two-a-days? Uh, did you spread it, spread it out throughout the day with a, with a big big break or sometimes some of them going back-to-back? -back, uh, did it depend on weather? What kind of, how did you guys handle two-a-days? Uh, we always did back-to-back. -back. We'd do two-hour session, hour break, two-hour session, mostly because – you know, being out, every kid has to drive out here. We want to make them drive out here one time or get a ride from a parent out here one time. And so it hasn't been entirely different from us since we've always been done it in one big session, but it's been, it's been different. Um, how about uh, just as a first-year head coach, was it a little disappointing uh, knowing that uh, I'm sure coming in eager, wanting to get things off on the right start, that you just your, your, your time to prepare for that was just kind of cut down? Yeah, you know, and that's... It was, you know, coming in, you're ready to go, and all of a sudden, you know, you have, this, this, you know, six practices, now we can go on Saturday, you have six practices, and uh, you only have one time a day, so you really can't break it up, offense practice, defense practice, you got to get them all at the same time, you got to make sure you, focus, you have kids focus for the offense, just as you do the defense, and you got to get the special teams in there, you know, you got to make sure you have the kids focus at all times, you can't have any phase of the game, not, not be practiced the right way.